In this video, we will demonstrate the effects of acetone on four different types of plastic. Before doing this experiment, we need to observe the characteristics of each type of plastic. The green strip is polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. As you can see, it's very flexible. The red strip is high-density polyethylene. It's fairly flexible. The blue strip is polypropylene. As you can see, it too is fairly flexible. And finally, the yellow strip is polystyrene. It's very stiff. Now, let's fast forward as we pour the acetone into a glass test tube and place each strip of plastic in the acetone. We will cap the test tube with a cork and let the plastic soak for five minutes. After five minutes, we will remove the strips from the test tube and observe the characteristics of each strip. The acetone had no effect on the blue strip of polypropylene. The yellow strip of polystyrene softened greatly and is now very sticky. The green strip of polyvinyl chloride softened greatly as well. You can see it's more flexible than before. The acetone had no effect on the red strip of high density polyethylene. We will now conduct the same acetone test with the unknown plastic strips. First, let's look at their characteristics. The strip of orange plastic is very flexible. The strip of clear plastic is fairly flexible. The strip of white plastic is fairly stiff. And the strip of black plastic is fairly flexible. Again, we'll speed up the process where we place each strip of plastic in the acetone and let it soak for five minutes. After five minutes, we will remove the strips from the test tube and observe the characteristics of each strip. The strip of white plastic has softened greatly, and you can see it's very sticky and is sticking to my gloves. The strip of orange plastic has softened and is more flexible than before. The acetone had no effect on the strip of black plastic. The acetone also had no effect on the strip of clear plastic.